The Philippine National Police Filipino, Pambansing Policia ng Pilipinas, abbreviated PNP, is the armed, civilian national police force in the Philippines. Its national headquarters is at Camp Crame in Quezon City, Metro Manila, and it has 170,000 personnel. It is administered and controlled by the National Police Commission and is part of the Department of the Interior and Local Government DILG. Local police officers are operationally controlled by municipal mayors, except during the 30 days immediately preceding and following any national, local and barangay elections. During these periods, the local police forces are under the supervision and control of the Commission on Elections. DILG, on the other hand, organizes, trains and equips the PNP for the performance of police functions as a police force that is national in scope and civilian in character. The PNP was formed on January 29, 1991 when the Philippine Constabulary and the Integrated National Police were merged pursuant to Republic Act 6975 of 1990. History the common history of the police forces of the Philippines can be traced back to the reigns of the pre-Hispanic Lacans, Datus and Sultans in the islands, where soldiers who served in the communities where the people lived, and which reported directly to local leaders, also enforced local laws. All changed with the arrival of the Spanish rule and the introduction of Western law to the archipelago. Until 1868, personnel of the Spanish army and local militias were also tasked with policing duties in local communities, together with the island carabineers raised 1768 and the colony's first ever police service. In that year, the local branch of the Civil Guard was officially established by order of then-Governor-General Carlos Maria de la Torre y Nava Serrata. Starting from a single division, during the revolutionary period it grew into a corps of military police with detachments in Luzon and the Visayas, and was notorious for its abuses against Filipinos. These abuses were mentioned in José Rizal's two novels, Noli Mi Tangere and El Filibusterismo, both writing about several cases of civil guardsmen abusing the local populace. Civil guardsmen formed part of the Spanish military forces that fought against Filipino rebels during the Philippine Revolution. With the beginning of American rule and the Philippine-American War, the Philippine Constabulary PC was raised in 1901 as a national gendarmerie force for law enforcement, directly reporting to the American government. At the same time, what is now the Manila Police District came into existence as the Philippines' first city police force. Later police forces began to model the U.S. departments. The Gendarmerie Force was later integrated into the ranks of the armed forces of the Philippines in the late 1930s, first as a command of the army, and later on its own after the state police folded. The PC's personnel would later be fighting on both sides in the Second World War. Passed on December 13, 1990, Republic Act No. 6975, the Department of the Interior and Local Government Act of 1990, ordered the merger of both the Philippine Constabulary and the Integrated National Police and formally created the Philippine National Police. RA 6975 was further amended by RA 8551, the Philippine National Police Reform and Reorganization Act of 1998, and by RA 9708. The RA 8551 envisioned the PNP to be a community and service-oriented agency. Organization ranks of the PNP commissioned officer ranks for directorate divisions, PDG Captain General PDDG Lieutenant General PDIR Major General commissioned officer ranks for superintending divisions, PCSUPT Brigadier General PSSUPT First Colonel PSUPT Second Colonel commissioned officer ranks for inspectorate division, PCI Major Psi Captain Legal Officer, Medical Personnel, PDSI First Lieutenant Administrative Clerk of Court, PI Second Lieutenant Chief Engineer, Non-Commissioned Officer Ranks, Equivalent Rank in Sergeant, Engineering Diploma Winking Face, SPO-4 Mechanical Engineering, Inspector Sergeant, SPO-3 Electrical Engineering, Sergeant Major, SPO-2 Civil Engineering, Detective Sergeant, SPO-1 Electronic, Communication Engineering, Duty Sergeant, PO-3 Computer Engineer, Corporal Sergeant, NCO, Agent Ranks Equivalent, PO-2 Private First Class, PO-1 Patrolman, PO Patrol Officer Ranks of the PN 
PNP Engineering Service Commissioned Officer ranks for Superintending Divisions, Police Chief Superintendent Brigadier General Police Senior Superintendent Colonel Police Superintendent Lieutenant Colonel Commissioned Officer ranks for Inspectorate Division, Police Chief Inspector Major Police Senior Inspector Captain Police Inspector First Lieutenant, Chief Engineer, Non-Commissioned Officer ranks, Equivalent rank in Sergeant, Engineering Diploma Winking Face, Senior Police Officer 4 Mechanical Engineering, Quarter Master Sergeant, Senior Police Officer 3 Electrical Engineering, Infantry Sergeant, Senior Police Officer 2 Civil Engineering, Artillery Sergeant, Senior Police Officer 1 Electronic, Communication Engineering, Gunnery Sergeant, Police Officer 3 Computer Engineer, Technical Sergeant, NCO, Agent Ranks Equivalent and Engineering Level, Police Officer 2 Cavalry Sergeant, Third Year College in Mechanical Engineering, Police Officer 1 Ordnance Sergeant, Third Year College in Electrical Engineering, Police Officer Color Sergeant, Third Year College in Civil Engineering, Operational Units Within the PNP Operational Units There are, Aviation Security Group, AVSEGROUP, This group provides security to all airports throughout the country. Special Action Force, SAF, This group is a mobile strike force or a reaction unit to augment regional, provincial, municipal and city police force for civil disturbance control, internal security operations, hostage-taking rescue operations, search and rescue in times of natural calamities, disasters and national emergencies and other special police operations such as anti-hijacking, anti-terrorism, explosives and ordnance disposal. On a special note, the PNP Air Unit is placed under the supervision of SAF. Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, CIDG, this group monitors, investigates, prosecutes all crimes involving economic sabotage, and other crimes of such magnitude and extent as to indicate their commission by highly placed or professional criminal syndicates and organizations. It also conducts organized crime control, all major cases involving violations of the revised penal code, violators of special laws assigned to them such as anti-hijacking, anti-carnapping and cyber crimes among others and atrocities committed by Communist Party of the Philippines CPP, New People's Army NPA, National Democratic Front NDF. Maritime Group, MG, this group is responsible to perform all police functions over Philippine territorial waters, lakes, and rivers along coastal areas to include ports and harbors and small islands for the security and the sustainable development of the maritime environment. Intelligence Group, IG, this group serves as the intelligence and counter-intelligence operating unit of the PNP. Crime Laboratory, CL, Scene of the Crime Operatives, SOCO, this group provides scientific and technical, investigative aid and support to the PNP and other investigative agencies. It also provides crime laboratory examination, evaluation and identification of physical evidence gathered at the crime scene with primary emphasis on medical, biological and physical nature. Police Security and Protection Group, PSPG, this group provides security to government vital installations, government officials, visiting dignitaries and private individuals authorized to be given protection. PNP Anti-Cybercrime Group, PNPACG, this group is responsible for the implementation of pertinent laws on cybercrimes and anti-cybercrime campaigns of the PNP. Police Community Relations Group, PCRG, this group undertakes and orchestrates police community relations program and activities in partnership with concerned government agencies, the community, and volunteer organizations in order to prevent crime and attain a safe and peaceful environment. Highway Patrol Group, HPG, this group enforces the traffic laws and regulations, promotes safety along the highways, enhances traffic safety consciousness through interagency cooperation concerning police traffic safety engineering, traffic safety education and traffic law enforcement functions and develops reforms in the crime prevention aspect against all forms of lawlessness committed along national highway involving the use of motor vehicles. Civil Security Group, CSG, this group regulates business operations and activities of all organized private detectives, watchmen, security guards, agencies and company guard forces. It also supervises the licensing and registration of firearms and explosives. PNP Anti-Kidnapping Group, PNPAKG, this group serves as the primary unit of the PNP in addressing kidnapping menace in the country and in handling hostage situations. Internal Affairs Service The PNP created a National Internal Affairs Service IAS, on June 1, 1999. 
It is an organization within the structure of the PNP and one of its tasks is to help the chief institute reforms to improve the image of the police force through assessment, analysis and evaluation of the character and behavior of the PNP personnel. It is headed by the Inspector General. Philippine National Police Academy The Philippine National Police Academy is located at Camp Gen. Mariano N. Castaneda, Salang, Cavite and is the premier training academy for the Philippine National Police, Bureau of Jail Management and Penology and Bureau of Fire Protection. National Operations Center, NOC, the National Operations Center, NOC, is at Camp Crane. Chief Superintendent Constanta Azaras Jr., Chief of the PNPNOC, explained that the NOC is the hub and nerve of this facility. Division Regional Police Offices manage and administer police stations within the various regions of the Philippines, each of which includes several provinces and independent cities. Each unit exercises independent control over all police units within their areas of operation and attached units of the PNP National Headquarters are ordered to assist these regional offices. The National Capital Region Police Office is one such regional office. PNP Radio On August 15, 2018 PNP acquired the defunct DZCA 1170 kHz AM station and changed its callsign to DWPNAM. It is on test broadcast and is expected to be broadcast in Metro Manila and nearby provinces upon full launch. Officers Recruitment and training The PNP conducts regular recruitment programs, depending on the annual budget. The entry level for noncommissioned officers is the rank of Police Officer 1 or PO1. The new recruits will undergo Public Safety Basic Recruit course for six months, and a field training program for another six months. Prior to their actual duty, they are required to undergo the mandatory special training of PNP Scout or PNP Special Counter Insurgency Unit Training Course for 45 days to 5 months to enhance them in militaristic tactics for future assignment in the field whether in the striking force or in the police station. Commissioned officers for the Philippine National Police are from the Philippine National Police Academy as well as through lateral entry. For specialized disciplines and requirements such as criminologists in line officers, lawyers, doctors, engineers, chaplain and other technical positions and also the rows from the rank personnel who have reached the qualifications to be a commissioned officer. Equipment PNP officers are equipped with Beretta 92 and Glock pistols. Their assault rifles used were M16 and M4A1 rifles and were used by SWAT teams and the Special Action Force SAF. Submachine guns used were the MP5 and UMP45. Shotguns used are the Remington 870 and the Mossberg 590. Controversies Manila blackmail incident a blackmail case occurred in Binondo, Manila when police officers abducted and blackmailed seven Chinese citizens suspected of drug trafficking on December 30, 1998. After many months of detainment and torture, two Hong Kong residents were killed when the ransom money was not paid. One police superintendent who knew of the operation was also killed. Euro General Scandal the Euro General scandal involves Alicio de la Paz and several Philippine National Police officials who went to Russia on October 2008 to attend an Interpol conference. De la Paz was detained for carrying a large sum of undeclared money. A House panel investigating the scandal concluded that the six police officials who attended the conference had made the trip illegally. In 2010, the Office of the Ombudsman filed graft charges against 12 former and active ranking PNP officials for their alleged involvement in the incident. Paranyak Shootout On December 5, 2008, 10 suspected criminals, one policeman, and five civilians, a total of 16 people, including a 7-year-old girl, were killed in a bloody shootout in Paranyak. Several others were wounded, including a ranking officer of the Highway Patrol Group, two members of the Special Action Force, a village watchman, and a security guard, said Director Leopoldo Batalio, head of the Metro Manila Regional Police. 
the head of the Internal Affairs Service of the PNP said, We failed in our mission to protect the civilians. Because during the conduct of operation many civilian lives were lost. On July 29, 2009, it was reported that the Department of Justice DOJ, had filed multiple murder charges against 29 policemen, including three generals, in connection with the shootout following the filing of a complaint affidavit by Lillian Devira, who lost her husband and daughter, age 7, in the incident. On January 11, 2010, the Commission on Human Rights recommended the filing of criminal and administrative charges against 26 policemen in March. It was reported that after two witnesses had said De Vera and his daughter were not killed in the shootout, that policemen already had complete control of the area where the two were killed. The Department of Justice filed two counts of murder charges against 25 policemen for the killings. Binaig torture case Inspector José Lito Binayag, chief of the Asuncion Police Community Precinct in Tondo arrested Darius Evangelista on March 5, 2009 for alleged robbery. A torture video was leaked to the media and shown on television showing a police officer whipping and cursing the suspect and pulling on a rope that was tied to the victim's genitals. The incident allegedly happened inside the Asuncion Police Precinct in Tondo. Binayag was arrested for violating the Anti-Torture Act of 2009. Separate charges were filed for Evangelista being tortured to death. Maguindano Massacre On November 24, 2009, Senior Superintendent of Busana Magwit, the police chief of Maguindano Province, was reported to have been relieved of his duties after witnesses reported seeing three of his officers at the scene of the Maguindano Massacre in which 57 people, including journalists, lawyers, aides, and motorists who were witnesses were killed. On November 25, Magwood and Chief Inspector Sukarno Dike were reported to have been relieved from post and placed under restrictive custody. On November 26, Department of the Interior and Local Government DILG, Secretary Rinaldo Puno announced that Magwood, Dike, and others were suspected of involvement in the massacre. On December 19, Magwood, Dike, and others were reported to have been recommended for summary dismissal by the PNP High Command. On April 16, 2010, the National Police Commission ordered a 90-day suspension against Magwood, Dike, and 60 other police personnel for their possible involvement in the killings. On July 10, it was reported that Dike had applied to become state witness, saying that he is confident that his testimony will pin down the masterminds of the killing. Failed Hostage Rescue Operation the Philippine National Police conceded that in the 2010 Manila hostage crisis they made blunders in ending a bus hijacking, as outrage grew over the bloody assault played out on live television that left eight Hong Kong tourists dead. The Hong Kong Economic Journal was reported to have accused the PNP of having appalling professional standards and a lack of strategic planning. Wheel of Torture Secret Detention Facility The Philippine Commission on Human Rights filed charges against 10 police officers after it was discovered that they routinely tortured detainees inside a secret detention facility in Binyan, Laguna. The facility was maintained by the PNP Provincial Intelligence Branch PIB, to extract confessions or information from detainees, or to extort money from them in exchange for being charged with lighter offenses or the dropping of the charges altogether. It was also alleged that some were tortured for the police office's amusement when they're intoxicated. The facility is notorious for utilizing a roulette called the Wheel of Torture. A play on the Wheel of Fortune, where various torture methods were printed. The wheel is rotated and wherever the pin stops, the indicated torture method is perpetrated on the detainee. The torture methods included, a 20-second Manny Pac-Man punch, named after the famous boxer Manny Pacquiao, where the detainee is beaten for 20 seconds. Paniki, which means being hung like a bat. Tusak ulo ka, which means being pierced through the head. Zombies which means being electrocuted, and other degrading tasks like duck walk and ferris wheel. Kidnapping and killing of Jiak Ju Sometime in January 2017, a Korean was killed inside Camp Crane. 
The Philippine National Police Anti-Kidnapping Group PNPAKG, charged former NBI officials Roel Baliv, Ricardo Diaz, and Jose Yap in relation to the case. See also Internal Affairs Service of Philippine National Police Philippine Constabulary Philippine National Police Academy Tanid Women in the Philippine National Police Women in the Philippine Military Crime in the Philippines References External links Official website